There you all are. Dinky doo, it's just me, Scotty McClue. Welcome, 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 I say, to our Sunday night pop up. And wonderful to have you with us as always, of course. And come on and have a bit of a chat with us. That's what it's all about. How good is that? Incredible stuff. Now, uh, you're watching Scotty McClure. I am, of course, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster, the world's most humble man, and the father of feminism. So I think that's pretty good, isn't it, for starters? So feel free to come and join us, of course. We've got lots and lots to talk about. And as always, so little time to do it in. The time just passes in a flash I popped up live this morning and had a wonderful chat with all the beautiful people on TikTok Live. Hello, hello, Ion. What is a haggis, says a black badge. A haggis is liver, lungs, and heart of a sheep minced up and boiled up in a piece of uh, um, sheep's bladder, I think it is. So there we are. Fantastic stuff. So it's mainly sheep in the days when the shepherds needed a good hearty meal, either haggis or shepherd's pie. There we are, good humble food. Happy with the Scotland results, Scotty? Absolutely beside myself. What a fabulous game that was, amazing. There we are, do you live in the lighthouse? I live in quite a lighthouse. Yes, I did, and I travel light. So that's always rather good. Thank you. Good evening. Dinky you, evening, Scotty. Good evening, Jackie. Lovely to have you with us. Thank you. Black Badger, dinky do to you. I say I'm just straightening you up so that you're at a nice angle. How's that? Is that about right? There we go. Fantastic. Scotty, I'm buzzing off this evening. Talkie United bottled the playoffs. Oh, wow. Uh, so there you are. You've bottled the playoffs, have you? Never mind. You should see them talking. Very, very good. Very unlucky not to win, in my opinion. Confident for Croatia. Oh, I think so. I think eventually, yes. Very, very good. Very good point. Well done, I say to you. Tremendous stuff. Come and join us, guys. If you've uh, if you've just arrived, follow me, of course. If you haven't followed, and a very, very warm welcome. Get yourselves on to the Scotty McClure YouTube channel. If you're scrolling, stop here. Uh, where are you from, says Alice. I am from TikTok, Alice, from Scotland. It's fantastic, isn't it? There we are. Scotland. Have you heard of Scotland? They're a good place. Hello, my friend. Hope you're well, buddy. God bless you. I thank you, Chris. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do for me, Scotty McClure. Read us. Hello, my friend. I hope you're well, buddy. God bless. I thank you very, very much indeed. And God bless you. Yes, because it's a tough old life out there. I can tell you. I'm moving to Edinburgh in September. You will absolutely love it. There we are. I live in Edinburgh, so yay, says Alice. Thank you, do. Still fuming about Friday. Don't ever be fuming. That was a tremendous result. Just back from a dinner cruise on the Ness for Father's Day. How lovely. Yes, wonderful. A dinner cruise? Yes. Now, what were the boats called? There was one a long time ago called the Scott Two used to go on uh, things there. Do you have family? Yes, I do indeed, Dave. Edinburgh's my favourite city. So there we go. I don't know what that is, Milkman. I'm not going to go down that road. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you, Scotty. Bless you. I started listening to you when you were in Century FM. Great to see you. Peter. How lovely to have you with us, Dinky Doo. Are you down in the northwest of England or are you over in the Midlands? There we are. Oh, yes, right. Got you. Um, Dinky Doo, I say. Uh, happy Father's Day to Big Archie. God bless. Over Rainbow Bridge. Absolutely. Shakaroni. You'd have loved him. A wonderful man. Great, big, quiet, gentle giant of a man. Yes, a soldier, a sailor, an airman. Yes, he was the lot, really. A wonderful musician, a fabulous engineer, a radio operator. Uh, Dinky Doo from South Shields. Get yourself along the beach. Well, Reith, I used to walk Lord Reith. There's Lord Reith. And I used to walk him along the beach. A little girl once threw a pebble and he caught it 
and I think it chipped one of his teeth, if I remember. Uh, good evening, Scotty. Mrs. Lerwick saw baby Ella today. So did my mum. They are giving Mrs. Lerwick... Oh, thank you for getting in touch. I've been concerned all day. What are your pronouns? Well, we're too modern to do pronouns. But uh, I suppose you could call it he, him, who he. It was the Jacobite Queen. Ah, yes, Jacobite cruises up to Arcot Castle and back. What a gorgeous thing to do. I once had a lovely cruise out of Ullapool, and we saw the hill, the mountain, that's known as Queen Victoria's Death Mask. And it does work. It looks incredible. Who's the man in the photo? That's me. That was a present to me. Beautiful sunset tonight, Scotty. Yes, it's very, very layered, though. It's it's stratus uh, where we are. A lot of cumulus stratus. Do you have any videos of your father, Scotty? Um, no, I think videos weren't quite the thing at the time. They were just really coming in. So I don't, and I think I've only got one recording of him playing the violin. Nowadays, we would have had a YouTube channel, you see. If you could tell your 18-year-old self anything, what would it be? Steady as she goes, and remember to keep working because it will pass very, very quickly. It's my birthday today. Yes, indeed. So I would just tell myself to knuckle down, and I may have done another degree. There we are. Don't be deceived. It's not just a man in the photo. It's the beautiful dog, Lord Reith. There he is. Look at the shine on him. He was such a healthy guy. Gorgeous, gorgeous big dog. You know, I mean, Maria Knight, you lovely lady, Maria, who is always, always generous to Scotty McClue, has given me absolute fortunes in TikToks, red roses, diamonds, uh, pearls. She did a pearl last night. We thought there'd been a nuclear explosion on the phone. It was wonderful. <laughs> Somalia, Naska, welcome from Somalia. Follow us, guys, as soon as you come on. Can you say, I don't believe it? No, I couldn't say that. No, no. At least you have the memories of such a great man. God bless. Absolutely, Shakaroni. I was very lucky because you can't choose your parents. You know, there we are. Seeing baby Ella and holding her. Ah, oh, Larry guy, thank you for letting me know how it's going. How is her self-keeping? I was really very concerned all day. Uh, in fact, I've just been talking to a friend um, on the telephone, and I mentioned this morning, you know, happy birthday. Thank you very much, X. Happy knit day. Yes, Shakaroni, because as you know, I was knitted. <laughs> Scotty McLean was knitted. We're planning on a weekend to Scotland up near Fort William. Any recommendations? You will love it up there. Fort William is just under Ben Nevis. There we are. Very, very nice. All that part of Scotland needs to open up again. You need to go and see the Commander Memorial at Spean Bridge. There we are. It brightened her up. Yes, it would, Mr. Lairwick. What car you drive? I drive two cars. Not at the same time. Uh, one is 29 years old. One's 21 years old. <laughs> Thank you for my five lollipops, Maria. Uh, best day. Thank you very much, Loco. Scotty, do you have any kids? Uh, not to my knowledge, no. Opinions on, well, I don't know what that means. Scotty, I'm clear. I'm feeling very depressed and hungover today. Do you have any advice? Stop drinking. Now then, who have we got here? Good evening. Good evening, Nascar. Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. There we are. Tremendous stuff. Uh, what do we got now? My name is Scott. Good one, Scotty. Thanks for telling us. Follow us as soon as you come on. So much to talk about. It's a little time to do it. How are you, says Nas? We are wonderful. What was the dog's name? The dog's name was Wreath. Lord Wreath Mia has sent me one of these beautiful diamonds in a green velvet box. Here's the lovely Kareem from Glasgow sending me TikToks. Kareem, you are very, very kind. I thank you. He sent me five TikToks. Always Kareem, all six, seven, eight. Uh, Kareem always sends eight. <laughs> Sorry, Kareem. I didn't want to make you send another TikTok. Uh, he's so generous. I like your beard. I thank you, Riley. 
The dog's name was Reith, Lord Reith. R-E-I-T-H, called after the guy that started the BBC. Look him up, Baron Reith of Stonehaven, John Charles Walsham Reith. Uh, there we are. Now then, been to Liverpool today to the beach. Steve, do you ever go to a place called Formby? Yes, it's uh, overlooking the Mersey there, if I remember, near to Southport. And Formby, they used to have a lot of squirrels in the forest. I hope the squirrels are still there. I want to go to Shetland Island. Mrs. Lerwick scared us. Oh, the doctors say stronger antibiotics should work. Who, thank God, Mr. Lerwick. I don't know, but we've become very close, you and I, as a family. <laughs> How amazing is that on TikTok? There we are. Everyone is very concerned. Maria has just sent me what's called a Diamond King. I wonder if I could add that to my titles, Diamond King. <laughs> the lovely, lovely Kareem, thank you. Good evening, Scotty. Hope you're keeping well. Philip, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, do you know Steeple Bay Holiday Park? Uh, yes, I do. Are you having a good day? I think I do. It rings a bell. Happy birthday, Scotty. Thank you, Kareem. Shakaroni, please, could you tell us a joke or a fun fact? What could I tell you as a fun fact? That would be good. I'll have a think about that. Scotty, I love you and your lives. How are you all? Click star. Lovely to hear from you. Always is tremendous stuff. Happy birthday, Scotty. Many happy returns. J-Dog Gaming, you're such a top man. I thank you. That's where I went. Aha, Steve, I've got you. Southport, you say, you cheered up a man who was feeling down in Southport. Well, the house prices, well, it's all Victorian houses, you see. <laughs> and now, who have we got here? Lovely beach, beautiful beach. What was your job? What was my job? Do you know something I don't? What is my job? I inform, I educate, and I entertain. Well, that covers most of my jobs. So there we are. Do you know Romford? I don't know Romford well now. Romford in Essex, yeah. And now how are you going? Uh, good evening, Scotty, from Jason and Becky in Stirling. Jason, we love Stirling. I started your radio station there 30 years ago, Central FM. That was me starting that up. There we are. OMG, hi. Hi, biggest fan. Fantastic stuff. What are the Kyles of Butte? Well, the Kyles are going round an island. So the island is Butte, and it's, uh, it's effectively water navigation. Yes, so between Butte and the mainland, between the island and the mainland, are narrows, narrow stretches of water, and uh, they've got uh, indicators on them. They've got two big black and white checked boys. Uh, that's BU, um, and uh, they've got them. And what you would do is you would go through the center of the narrows. Yes, so there we are. Where the water has filled in between the island and the mainland. It's obviously all the one surface, but it's flooded by the sea. So the Kyles of Butte. Butte is the island, and the Kyles are the narrows between the island and the mainland. Scotty, what do you think of the Scottish Euro performance on Friday? And there are two brightly painted rocks called the Maids of Butte. <laughs> what do you think of the Scottish Euro performance on Friday? We loved it, Willie. Thought it was outstanding. Wonderful game. We love your TikTok lives. It's good to chat. Mr. Lerwick, it's wonderful to chat. And also to send strength. Um, it's a little birthday treat for the best presenter on TikTok. Maria, you are so kind. A little birthday treat. You have spoiled me with your kindness. Spoiled me with your kindness. You're so lovely. I'm going to Scarborough somewhere in August. We love Scarborough. Yes, North Yorkshire. There used to be a lot of lovely big cruises out of Scarborough and round the waters there. Um, I was at Bridlington one night and there was a pirate ship. Full of people, the pirate ship. 
Hello, Scotty. It's me again, Dinky Doo, random kid. We love you. Brilliant, Scotty. Still listen to Central FM, great radio station. Happy birthday and Dinky Doo. Dinky Doo, Jason. Wonderful. Yes, it's still going. I had all the doubting Thomases round me. Oh, that'll not last. And it's still going 30 years later. A lot of dedicated people there. Still remember listening to you on TFM. Yes, Steve. Absolutely, TFM. The talking. Uh, you should 100% make ASM. Oh, you should 100%. I don't know what you mean by that, Emil. You need to explain. Hello from Peter Heed. Peter Heed, we love you up in Peter Heed. Uh, yeah, you're near to the broch. I can. But uh, that's fine. There we are. And mind, uh, I'll give you advice for Peter Heed. I'll give you a bit of advice for Scotty McClough. Uh, there's only one thing tougher than a fisherman. A fisherman's wife. <laughs> there we go. Did you know Tony Hancock? I didn't know him personally, no. But a uh, remarkable comedian, suffered a lot from depression. What football club do you support? I don't support any financially now. <coughs> Pardon me. So knowledgeable, Scotty. Thank you very much. Not at all, Andy. Dinky do, Scotty McClure. I just want to say hi. I'm on the beach. You're on the beach, seaman. How lovely. Hi to you. We love you on the beach. It's like a little family here on TikTok. We've grown close as a family with you. We have Lerwick. I thank you, Mr. Lerwick. Akai, the new Scotty McClure. Eddie Doyle. How lovely to have you with us from, uh, don't tell me now. Uh, let me get this right again. From the race course. Down at Cambridge. Uh, I need to get it right. I've got it. I keep getting my head blocked racing from Sandown, but it's not. It's um, Newmarket. Racing from Newmarket. Good afternoon. Afternoon and welcome to Newmarket. Uh, what's the curry house? And the waiter said, curry okay. I said, yes, please. Thanks, Sinatra. My way. That's it. Went to the curry house and the waiter said, curry okay. I said, yeah, please put us down for Frank Sinatra. My way. Curry okay. Scotty, Courtney, oh, please, thank you, Gotari. Lush hat, oh, it's lush. It's all lush. Hello from Lithuania. We love you in Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia. Dinky do, dinky do, everybody. Hi from Bomor in Isla, says the wonderful Ali McNeil. Kamraha, umaha, hachima. Fantastic. Falci, falci, chi de mille falci. Don tic toc, a gescochech, macluach. Dinky do, fella. Hello, Courtney. A new market. That's it, Eddie. It came to me, you see. Hello from Scotland. Hello, Scotty. Wrapping up work at my desk. Hope you're well. Ah, the real Rory. We're very well. Lovely to hear from you. Scotty, please, can you say dinky do to courts? I can. I can always say thank you to courts. Hello from Scotland. We love you in Scotland. Is this an act? Says Ross. Um, an act? I don't follow you. <laughs> this is Scotty McClue talking to you. So there we are. What would be an act about that? Uh, it's very simple. Hi, Winston. Thank you. You're an absolute legend. Hope you're doing well, lad. Hash, Matt, thank you very much. Uh, to let you know about Mrs. Lerwick, yes, thank you so much for that. It's wonderful. Uh, is my new lad, says uh, Shakaroni. Wonderful stuff. Do you think Scotland won the game against England, even though it was a draw? Well, they were very, very exceptionally good. When they got possession... They were playing with England, toying with them, having a laugh, you know. So, I mean, it was just quality football. There we are. William Wallace was 10 foot tall. I think that's after they'd drawn him. There we are. Yes, sir, I can boogie. Boogie, woogie. And uh, now then, 
Yes, lad, you put a smile on my face. Keep it up. Thank you, Puppet. Is this a performance, as in the character? Uh, a performance, Ross? No, this is a TikTok live, dear. A performance. <laughs> this is as real as it gets. You know, I mean, we're not doing any performing. We're just talking. <laughs> Do you go up to people who are talking on a park bench and go, excuse me, is this an act? Is this a... Is this a performance? <laughs> hey there, awesome to see you. Awesome. Are you Irish, Sir Taylor? Well, we're all Irish to a greater or lesser extent, I say to you. I would tell you that. Scotty, can you drop us a line? Maybe they want a Shakespeare performance. Ah, that's what it is. Shall I do? I could do an act. I'll do um, Mark Antony from Shakespeare's Julius Caesar. <clears throat> Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. I come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. The evil that men do lives after them. The good is often turned with the bones. So let it be with Caesar. The noble Brutus hath told us Caesar was ambitious. Is this ambition? There you are. There's, a, there's an act for you. That will give you a bit of that. A, th a theatrical performance of a Shakespeare tragedy. A Shakespearean tragedy. I must have a sip of tea. This is not an act, by the way. All you need is love and a dog. I want to celebrate the life of Lord Clyde and Lord Wreath. Cheers, guys. Uh, in your opinion, what was your best achievement in life so far? Getting a 1,000 followers and getting on to TikTok Live. Uh, what are we talking about? We're talking about everything, Sharif. Is it true the national animal of Scotland is a unicorn? It is true, Andy. People make a mistake. They think it's the lion, <coughs> the lion rampant. Maria Knight, thank you. Is that you in the picture? That's me in the picture with Lord Wreath the Labrador. What's your favourite animal that you like to eat? Well, you can't eat fox, apparently. I always wondered why. I think... Um, <clears throat> I think probably it would be uh, beef. Yes, I think it'd be beef. Were you a bodybuilder as a young one? Yeah, huge weight. Show you the muscle. Look, <laughs> I can't even get my arm around it. <laughs> huge, tremendous, very, very solid. Where can I find wheat bangs in the superstore? Oh, they'll be hiding there. Uh, have you followed us, guys? Um, Benjamin says, did you ever eat beaver before? I don't think you can eat beaver. No, did you? You know, do tell us. Uh, did you serve in the war or the Navy? The war or the Navy? The Navy was part of the war. Et tu brute, Sean, Sean in Arizona. I thank you very much. Scotty can't wrestle. It'd be unfair to the weak competitors. Oh, I would never wrestle them. It's not fair on them at all. Um, an arm wrestle with me lasts about a second. <laughs> but I wouldn't do it in case somebody's playing the piano. You see, there's lots of beautiful, valuable things in there. Um, now, lots and lots to talk about, guys. Join us as soon as you possibly can. But a little bit later tonight, as late and starting. But uh, we'll stay on for about, about another 15 minutes. Could you cope? Could you cope? 15 minutes. There we are. Uh, beaver meat is very tasty and healthy, but I never eat it. Ah, Scotty boy, did you watch uh, the Scotland match? What have we got here? I missed that there. Uh, Scotty boy, did you watch the Scotland match versus the old enemy, Barry Scotland? I did BR. I watched every bit. Scotty has beautiful talent. Shakaroni, you're very, very kind to me. That's five, says William. Five watts. I'm learning Latin. I know it's not spoken anymore, but I think it's interesting. Sean, you should learn Latin in case you want to go to Latin for your holidays. See what I just did there? 
And uh, what can I give in Latin? I say to people, do you speak Latin? They go, no. I say, do you ever watch a video? They go, yeah, of course. I say, well, video just means I see in Latin. The table, la table in French, mensa. Hence the organization mensa, because they sit round the table. Are you in support of Scottish independence and the policies of the SNP? Well, I'm not political at all, DGMR. We don't do politics. But I do think Scotland would do very well being independent because the Union has never served Scotland well in 313 years. Have you played outdoor bowls, Scotty? Um, I think once. It's not really my thing, but I did have a bowling green next to where I lived, and I used to sit and watch people bowling, all dressed in their whites and their shoes and everything. England played like trash. No, no, I think England played very well as well as Scotland. I really do. Did you hear about the skeleton at the disco? Ha, he had nobody to dance with. Woo! Shakarone! And what did you make of the match, Scotty? I loved it. I watched it. It was a beautiful game of football. Incredible sportspersonship. You know, wonderful. What's your favourite food? Have you got uh, your squeeze box with you? I have, Mr. Larry. Yes. Scotty, have you got kids? Uh, I haven't, Lewis. No. I'm English and I'm a Scottish fan from a family. Just a shame on my accent. No shame on your accent. Your accent will be outstanding. Be not ashamed of anything you do. Yes, I've only met one bad man in my life. He took money off me in a business deal. Scotty, I love your cup. Could I ask where you got it from? Um, I just, I think somebody gave me it as a present. Uh, words of Wisdom. Yes, so I would see if you can get it on the net. I'll show you down this side. Ah, oh, so good. All you need is love and a dog, guys. Maria, I thank you so much. Yeah, I don't know about uh, the details. I think somebody gave me as a present. All you need is love and a dog, because that's kind of the story of my life. You know, love and the dog. <laughs> That's it, really. You know, what do you think about the Euros? Uh, it's a very good currency. Oh, sorry, the football, the football, yes. Scotty is what you call apolitical, yes. I don't do politics, uh, you know, but we do. I know what's good for Scotland. That's true, and all the scientific names are in Latin. Yes, Sean, absolutely. Because the Latin is at the very base of our language, you know, particularly because the Romans were so big in the UK. Uh, accents are for dafties, uh, says BR. Uh, do Scottish like English? Scottish don't like English. No, they adore English. Yes, Scotland's only gripe is not with England or English people at all. Scotland's gripe is with Westminster. That's where they see the problem. Geez, how did you learn Latin? I wouldn't mind learning it myself. DGMR, just get yourself out there. You decline the cases. It's great fun. Instead of looking upon things as a chore, if you look at Scotty McClue's TikTok videos, you'll see me teach you the piano in seven minutes. You'll get the whole thing on the YouTube channel. Yeah, so tap the tap for the YouTube channel there. Thank you, Scotty. You mind talking to us about the fun memories of your boogie? Yes, well, somebody asked me if I had a boogie and uh, uh, the pram wheels. Please, could you ever make a book of jokes? I was with somebody the other day who was carrying so much weight they had to get out the car to change gear. Uh, I wish I could see Scotty's buggy. I know it's in storage. Absolutely. I think I've got a picture somewhere. Somebody sent me one on Facebook of them and I winning a buggy race. And I think I've still got that somewhere. I wish we... Uh, oh, yes, indeed. Maria, the beautiful Maria, has sent 
two pandas. We love that. Fantastic. Would you give us a tune? I will, Mr. Lerwick, just for you. What would you like? Man goes to doctor and says, Doctor, I have a steering wheel in my pants. It's driving my nuts, driving me nuts. Eddie, <laughs> what are you like? Evening, Scotty, I got my results back today. I passed. Jackie, what did we say? What did we say? Love it. Congratulations and thank you for sharing. Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. Scotty, a big bye. Hello, Lewis. I wish I could have Scotty merchandise at Where Odi Shakari. We'll get you some, don't worry. There it's there. Yes, that will be coming your way. Once we're TikTok famous. Scotty, can you do a bicycle kick? Of course I can. Yes. There we go. Thanks, Scotty. I'll have that. Thank you, Maria. Bless you. Um do you have a look. Yes, no, do have a look, Maria. Yes, I mean, if I could get it to you, I would. Do you think TikTok should be 18 plus? Well, the problem with a lot of social media, I mean, I've been now big on social media for about five years. The YouTube channel started 11 years ago, but we didn't do much with it. But now it's starting to move a bit. And it's the world's best kept secret. Guys, if you want to go on to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel, you'll see the URL in front of you. Um, and uh, a lot of them have become old people now, and they don't give you the same exposure, whereas TikTok is vibrant and young, and the next generation had to discover Scotty McClue. That's why I went on TikTok. So, no, I don't know if it should be 18+. plus. The young people need to have social media. The euros have a very good currency. I agree with you there, Scotty. The value isn't the same in the UK. Now, I remember touring Ireland when they had the punt. And this makes me laugh when people say, what currency would you use in Scotland if you were independent? And you say, well, we we'll use anything. We might use the pound sterling. We might use the pound Scots, the punt. There you are. Now, who have we got? Can you say shalom to Jackie? Yes, of course I can. Do you have a talk show on a radio station? Not at the moment, Andy. We stopped last year. It's 29 years to the day that I went down to Preston to see my big mate, John Myers, who was the programme controller at Red Rose, and we started the Scotty McClue phone-ins. 29 years today. And it started in a week's time, 29 years. So next Monday... I then go into my 30th year of Scotty McClue phone-ins on radio. And I only stopped last year. How amazing's that? I'll have a look after the live. Absolutely, Maria. We don't want to lose a second of the live. Yes, indeed. And you and I get on very well, but you spoil me. Um, he used to. It's all on TikTok. Yes, everything's TikTok now. And people say, what are you doing on TikTok? You should be on national radio. TikTok is huge. We just need to make sure every TikToker, 800 million of them, come and follow Scotty McClue. So it's up to you guys. What phone have you got? I got a new phone the other day. Fantastic. Scotty, in Cork City, they hanged a United Ireland poster. What do you think? Well, Sean, I don't know what the point in any of that is until it's been properly discussed with the Taoiseach. And the Doyle, do they want to pick up the tab for the North? You know, or would it uh, would it impoverish the people of Ireland? What do you call a boomerang that doesn't come back? A stick. I got a boomerang for my birthday today and somebody wished me many happy returns. Hello. Hello, everybody. Thanks for following us. Something cheerful, please. Yes, I'll play you something cheerful. What could I play that would be nice uh, on the squeeze box? Nice and cheerful. Do you believe in Scottish independence and a united Ireland? Yes, indeed. Can you say something are the best? Clear castle are the best. Scotty, I tried to do a bicycle kick, but knocked over the vase. A family heirloom. You'll be popular. Uh, Maria is very generous. 
Andy, Maria is absolutely incredibly generous and very kind to Scotty McClue. Happy Pride Month. Yes, indeed. Could Scotland also use the euro? Yeah, they could. I know of John Mars. He's a man of many names. Yes, indeed, Shakaron. He's sadly no longer with us. He passed away two years ago. Scotty, do you mind the ten bob note, Eddie, until some wee shecks broke in and stole my coin collection in the house, uh, probably to get them some drugs. Um, then uh, I had a ten bob note, and I loved it. The late and great John Mars, R.I.P., absolutely, Shakaroni. Wow, you practically invented radio phone-ins. Well, they said I was the father of talk radio. What are your pronouns? We, we're too modern for pronouns. That's old hat. But I would be um, he, him. <laughs> so there we go. Now then, can you please show us your bush again and show us some updates on the plants? Well, I showed you, I told you my cherry popped out and then my bush came out and then Big Heather came out and Big Pyrrhus came out and Big Roddy came out last week. But he's gone. Roddy has only lasted. He's shedding his uh, his coat. Hi, mate McClure. Hello, Matthew. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do, I say. Always good to have you with us. Now then, a tune on the squeeze box. Uh, wait a minute. What could we have in the squeeze box? Yes, here's a good one. friend Lerwick Gal, who's been very poorly in hospital, who had a beautiful baby last week, and who is married to Mr. Lerwick. Fantastic stuff. Dinky do. Thank you for the great performance of the squeeze box. Did you like that? Thank you so much, Scotty. That was beautiful. And thank you for your kindness and good wishes. Not at all. Thank you for coming and being part of our wonderful live stream. Lerwick Gal, get well soon, says Shakarone. Dinky do, my favorite blue. Hopefully you too. Thoughts on the DUP? The DUP, I think that the North has been flung under a bus over Brexit. And I think the DUP is going to struggle. Dinky do is my favorite. Hopefully you too. Pardon me. Do you like the Spice Girls? Uh, there we are. Yes, yes, of course. Um, hi there, Scotty, all the way from South Africa. Jan, how lovely to have you with us. 
Good sir. Now, uh, fully fired. Uh, you're on the wrong thing altogether. So fully fired. You've got yourself a lifetime ban for mentioning the unmentionable. It was never funny, and it's even not funny now. Fantastic. He's gone. There we go. Tremendous. Gone down the river. Hi, Scotty from Croatia. Down the Swanee, I see. Absolutely. Down the Swanee. Is it true you rearranged the spice rack? Of course I did. I put my spice rack in alphabetical order. Somebody said, how do you find the time? I said, it's just after the rosemary and the sage. <laughs> Usually Scotty let trolls off, but that's a big no. The sea one, oh, absolutely. What was the unmentionable? Ah, we can't mention it. Scotty, how old are you? I'm between 28 and 2 million. We just don't know. Uh, there was Scotty, my big fan. Can you shout out to my friend Fraser, please? I can. Hello, Fraser. And Dinky Doo. Fantastic. Dinky Doo says, Illy. Lovely to have you with us, folks. Thanks for joining us. And thanks for following everybody who's followed. And as for your beautiful gifts, I thank you very much. Of course, particularly Maria, my wonderful godmother. That's what it's like. God sister, God friend. Uh, you look like 20 years old. I think that's around right. Hey, from Germany. Yes, yes, guten Tag. Um, nicht Deutsch sprechen, ich bin ein Auslander, nicht verstehen. Uh, danke, danke. Your favorite American president. Well, I love John F. Kennedy. He was our hope for the future. But I also loved Ronnie Reagan. I, uh, who else was I fond of? I loved Obama, of course. Great guy. I like Uncle Joe. I like Uncle Joe. Um, but uh, who else did we have? Tremendous presidents. Ronnie Reagan was a, was a great guy, the nice man, Ronald. Yes, and a funny man. Where did you learn German? Nicht Deutsch sprechen, ich bin ein Auslander. Nicht verstehen. Ja, danke schön, danke schön, bitte schön. Uh, happy 65th, Scotty, I thank you, Evie. <coughs> Letting Cat out back. I think West End performances are rather thrilling. They are. I must go to the mouse trap. Theodore Roosevelt, yeah, he was quite a guy as well. And also, I think during the war, I think Franklin D. Roosevelt, no relation, am I right? Franklin D. And, of course, Woodrow Wilson was um, from Carlisle. Uh, Bosco says, but how you don't know your age? Because I not born, I knitted by my grandmother. We think she dropped a couple of stitches. Do you like football? Not bothered one way or the other. Uh, John F. Kennedy spoke of disdain for secret societies. Would you agree? Well, I don't know what he would mean by a secret society, you know? I mean, there's a huge difference between a secret society and a society with secrets. You know, that's all I would say. Is your grandmother also immortal? Oh, my grandmother is amazing. Yes, she is wonderful. Did you hear about the three visually impaired mice? Yes, three visually impaired mice. Three visually impaired mice. They all ran under an omnibus. The driver he kicked up an awful fuss. They came out the other side. None the was those three visually impaired Mars. <laughs> Scotty's birthday today, everyone. Where are you from? Thank you. Pinocchio to the trolls. Pinocchio. Yes, absolutely. For telling us whoppers. If you've just joined us, guys, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, and we're live on the big one. What's the future for the human race, in your opinion? I think it'll do very, very well. I hope somebody wins.
Thoughts on John Berko moving on? I am a massive, massive fan of John Berko. I love his energy. I love his enthusiasm. I love his integrity. I loved when he ran the House of Commons and very nearly saved us from Brexit. He obviously didn't quite, um, but, uh, you know, he did his best to have complete fairness in a very, very challenging and difficult situation. You know, I love his, um, his uh, what would we call it, etymology. Yes, it's fantastic. His lexicography, fantastic. What's your opinion on the DUP? I don't know how long the DUP will have, to be honest. Um, you know, I mean, all this falling out, now, uh, I think Northern Irish politics needs to move on. They need to mature. They need to grow up. There needs to be a real sense of um, joy and wanting to do good, um, just injected into Stormont at a very high level. You know, I mean, all this stopping. Are you Catholic or Protestant? Well, I'm Christian. You know what I mean? So it takes in both. One's just slightly later than the other. There, are, there is no difference, really, between Catholicism and Protestantism, except Protestantism don't want to be run from Rome. And they believe that the elements, uh, the wine and the bread, the bread and wine, are symbolic, whereas in Catholicism, they actually metamorphose, they transubstantiate within you to become the body and blood of Christ. Huge, huge respect for all denominations of religions as well. The cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. Yes, these were the first words on the moon, were they not? No way could a cow jump over that. <laughs> uh, will Scotland gain independence in a lifetime? If they want it, Kimod, they need to get their act together and realise that they mustn't interfere with the crown and that our sovereign lady, the Queen, is the head of state for Scotland. None of that changes. Leave it alone. And then you can split the parliaments if you want. Yes, your opinions on Oliver Cromwell a very, very, very dangerous, damaging, and bad man. Although, partly to get a lot of time for the Covenanters. And I quite liked that, you see. I was thinking more of the Cameronians. Uh, is it true the moon is made out of cheese? I heard you actually own the moon, Scotty. Yes, well, you can't own anything. I curate the moon. I put it to bed at night. Uh, I'm friendly with the, with the lady moon and the man in the moon. Based monarchism, yes, you need to have the monarchism. We've had it for 2,347 years in Scotland. And Her Majesty the Queen has a bloodline going back to the Stuarts and Robert II. Fantastic. Um, I'll show you my moon sometimes. Yes, Bob. Yes, your moon will be the same as everyone else's moon. Are you good friends with Mother Nature? Yes, well, I am Father Nature. So we get on very well. Uh, what's the near future look like? Very close, very close. Uh, do you still have a live phone-in show? I don't at the moment, Steve. No, no, I finished last year. Uh, but I'm just about to move into my 30th year next week. Uh, do you know? I don't know. No, don't know that. Father time? Old father time. What do you think of Ireland? I adore every blade of grass in it. I love it. It's all the old country, you see. Are you good friends with Uncle Nature? So there we are. I don't know Uncle Nature. I remember Uncle Fester in the Adams family. <laughs> well, and as long as we're not anti-nature, that's what matters. Dink you do. Do you ever consume sausage rolls in a tin in the 1970s? Sausage rolls in a tin? No, but I, I bought a little bag of sausage rolls and put them in the microwave and they were delicious. A little bit of brown sauce. <laughs> what do you think of Biden? Um, well, it's the President of the United States. He seems a very nice guy, actually. Uh, would you not go back to TFM? 
I think a lot of local radio has moved on now and it's less local. Do you see what I mean? I loved it. I mean, I had to learn every single place in the United Kingdom so we could talk at length about Middlesbrough, Verbora, and uh, also Hartlepool. Uh, what's your favourite part of Scotland and why? All of it, Ella, all of it. I adore every blade of grass in Scotland. Did you have a microwave in the 70s? No. So there we are. Uh, do you like the SMP? I don't know what they are. Uh, follow us, guys, as soon as you can. Thoughts on LBG, LBTQ? It should be LGBTQS. You need to include the straight people. We don't want to have any, um, you know, anti-heterosexuals. Uh, do I remember you from Radio City? You do, Wavy. Every night, talking to Liverpool, Scotty McClue. Scotty, we love the bones of you. You're a breath of fresh air. Fantastic. Now, who have we got here? Uh, Scotty, big shout out from We George. Yes, indeed. What's your opinions on smartphones? Well, I've just got a new one, so I think they're pretty good. Uh, you're a legend. I loved listening to your TFM from 10 o'clock. Fantastic, Steve. It was very, very successful. Incredibly successful. You're a class. I think you do. Now, there we are. Runa, I think you're on the wrong thing altogether. Guys, I'm just going to dump Denny here because he's on the wrong Stream, he's on the stream for the idiots. There we are. He should be, he belongs in the stream for the idiots, I should say. This is far too, uh, far too highbrow for him. Scott is my homeboy. I think you do. It's coming home. I think football's coming home. When Scotty went to the butchers, stakes were too high. Thank you, Shakaroni. How old are you? We just don't know, Amelia, you know. 65 today. <laughs> Uh, still want to hear the Dinky Doo song? Yes, it's time to go, isn't it? My goodness me, I hadn't realised. I used to tune in to you in the 90s, uh, Q96. Q96, and of course we were national radio. We uh, networked, networked from Q96 out down to the north of England. <clears throat> Scotty, how do you stay so cool? Well, I have a fan that blows cool air, you see. The um, Scotty FM show on a Sunday night, 10 p.m. was best. Scott FM. Scott FM was just outstanding. It's never, ever, ever been bettered. Quarter of a million people per half hour listening to Scotty McClure. London radio didn't get anything like that. National radio <coughs> really struggled to ever keep up with Scotty McClure. It had nothing like that. Incredible. People don't realize that. But we had huge figures and, of course, um, 460,000 calls in a week, shorting out the network for Central Scotland. Scotty McClure's a diamond king. Maria sent me a diamond king. She's a princess. Do you know how many counties there are in Ireland, Scotty? Jamie, are there not? Is it 33 or 32? Tell me if I'm right, 32 or 33. And then you've got um, the six counties that are annexed. So you've got Antrim, Armagh, Derry, Down, Fermanagh, and um, what did we say? Is it clear? Have I got that right? <clears throat> so there we go. Fantastic. I'm speaking on behalf of Hinkley for that one. Who's going to win Croatia or Scotland? Bosco, if I give you the result now, nobody will watch the game and the footballs won't thank me for that. So come on. Did you go to university? Yes, twice. <coughs> it was top banana. It was top banana, Weege. If anything, and then some halfway got rid of it for no reason at all. You know, petty jealousy, probably. I stayed in Argyle Street just round the corner from Q96 in Paisley. Yes, we were in Lady Lane at the time. There we are. Scotty, can't tell you that the network won't be too happy. No, I can't give this football score. Not before the game. Ah, you were a great listen back then. 
Well, yes, hopefully we're still a good listen. You know, what I say to people about Scotty McClure's YouTube channel, The World's Best Kept Secret, you'll see the link to it right there. Go on and subscribe. And what I used to say to people about that was, um, put it on, don't bother about the visuals, leave it and go away and do your housework and listen to it as radio. And I think you'll enjoy that, you know, and then you don't have to stare at my fizzog. Uh, Scott FM with a lovable lassie, those are the days. Number one starter. Everybody in the country was listening to Scott FM. You know, if they could get the chance. We didn't have the internet. Nowadays, it would just be the show in the world. You know, fantastic. Please do the Dinky Doo song for old time's sake. TFM was the best. Uh, oh, dance with your granny and your auntie Fanny. Uh, 32, you're 100%. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> what did you do as a profession? I still do it. <clears throat> Thoughts on Sinn Féin? Well, they need to swear allegiance to Her Majesty the Queen, but apart from that, they are building and gaining popularity. Scotty, if I ask you to beam me up, can I escape California? View, why would you ever want out of California? I'm coming to Hollywood, coming to America. There we are. Hi, says Rick. Hi, Rick. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us and a very warm welcome. Now, it's 11 o'clock. When did we start tonight? Can anybody remember? Right, I better go. I better push off and let you guys get on. Can you say hi to Fion? Uh, now, who have we got? Ignore Ligma, Sigma, Candies, all that. Avoid Shakaruni. Thank you for that. We will do. Yes, indeed. It's not uh, It's not even funny. These people are pathetic. Trolls are pathetic. They're just weasels. University made me a critical thinker and outspoken. Me too, VSC. Yes. Yes, absolutely. I wouldn't say I'm outspoken, but uh, I'm a critical thinker. Are you from Glasgow? More or less, Bosco. I was brought up in Greenock. Greenock. Somebody once tried to correct me. Imagine trying to correct you about your own place. I'll tell you people who will never, ever, ever put up with any of that is the Yorkshire people. You see? So when you say a name to Yorkshire and somebody tries to correct them, you know, uh, so they'll say, I am from uh, Stocksbridge. And they'll say, is it not Stocksbridge? Eh? Stocksbridge. And they'll correct. I, I just love it. The Yorkshire people take no prisoners. Yes, they, they are correct and they are quite right too. Uh, thank you for making me an even wiser person with these streams. God bless. Happy birthday. Shakaroni, you're very, very kind. I attended James Watt College in Greenock in the mid-90s. I attended in the mid-70s. Woo! How amazing is that? PC Ventress, <clears throat> ring, ring, Edensfield Police, PC Ventress speaking, <clears throat> ah, all right, I see, well, thanks for letting us know, yeah, we'll look into that right away, right, uh, the hall's been broken into, I think I might know who's done that, I loved our ventures, old-fashioned policing. What's your opinion on bioenergy? Well, we want lots of it, I tell you. If I do disco, I could mix it and advertise it if you'd like. Steve, you're very, very kind. Uh, I attended primary school in the 70s. Wow, VSC. Thoughts on earth, wind, and fire? Well, I think they're very helpful. Uh, oh, I see. You, 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 yes, they're good climates. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I bet it was Claude. <laughs> no, who was it used to break in? And they got it. Some young lads, was it not, broke into the hall. That was, uh, that was uh, Lord, uh, what was he called? What was the hall again? His Lordship. Yes. Um, share as much as you like, guys. Thank you very much. Very, very important. Mid-70s and early 80s. Yes, indeed. Indeed, we like that. Fantastic stuff. Now, who have we got here? 
Just having a wee look. Someone said, let's talk about the environment. I said, what do you mean the wildlife? <laughs> Have you sensed the environment here? Uh, I worked in Navy buildings years ago in Eldon Street, best view of the Clyde. I know Navy buildings, yes. I lived at Fort Matilda. So there we are. I used to sail from the RWS ABC at the Navy buildings. Tremendous. I love how iconic that hat is. 29 years. This hat, the nation's been in love with this hat. Scotty used to drink with my grandfather, Doogie. Good to see you in uh, in good health. Absolutely use it. Yes, tell him I'm asking for him. My brother got married last week in a quilt, and we drank 16-year scotch in a quilt. <clears throat> Very interesting. Scotty, each stream I swear I get even more intelligent than before. Shagrini, the intelligent people in this stream is absolutely amazing. It's just outstanding. You know, the intelligence on here. Okay, we've had how many? We'd be lucky if we've had half a dozen trolls. And we've had all these beautiful, brilliant people on. Amazing. Uh, I was shocked when I heard, yes, Lord Ashfordley, that's it. First name was Charlie. So I was happy. Charlie Ashfordley. I love that actor as well that plays him. I like Peter McDougall's TV show set in Greenock or Inverclyde. I'll tell you a cracker. You'll get it on YouTube. Leaving. Yes, by Danny Boyle. <coughs> I remember seeing it on the telly in the 80s. It's set in 1960. If only the trolls took this seriously, it's free. It costs nothing. And they'd be well educated by you. Yes, we've had a few trolls have turned. Their poachers have become gamekeepers. Uh, my friend asked me to play basketball. I said, what's the catch? Leaving was best. You know, leaving Weege, absolutely amazing. Quite fantastic. Set in a Catholic school in Greenock in 1960, and they've got it so well done. Paul Young's in it. Uh, why are you consorting with common folk? <laughs> I shall inform the Rothschilds at once. No, 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 they will know about this. Yes, i seen one uh, filmed in the 70s about sectarianism. That would be just another Saturday, I think. Dinky-doo, dinky-doo, Doc. Can I get one more joke off you for the night, Scotty, before I retire to my bed for the night? Um, uh, One more joke. I was going up a one-way street and the police stopped me and said, excuse me, this is a one-way street. I said, well, I'm only going one, one way. They said, where were you going to? I said, I was going to a party, but I don't think it was very good. Everyone seems to be coming back. <laughs> I do. The wee guy, Paul, in his place, a very poignant story. Uh, about Catholics marrying into Protestants. No, that was uh, just your luck. That was just your luck. That's a belter as well. Uh, thank you, Scotty. Good night. Take care. Good night, everybody. I'll sing you the goodbye song. Are we ready? <clears throat> goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care. Care everybody as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vita zain. Au revoir. And a cheery o. Maria Knight, thank you for my ten beautiful good nights. That's right, everybody. Love you lots. Maria sent me. Sergeant Scotty, did you find out who broke into the hall? Night, Scotty, all the best. And dinky do. Thoughts of Newcastle United. Up the magpies, I say. Bye. Bye, Charlie. Thanks, guys. Listen, thanks for watching. Take great care of yourselves. Thanks for making my birthday amazing. Because I was a little bit fed up when I came on. And now I'm just buzzing. Tremendous. Lovely, lovely. ta -ra -la Night, buddy. Night, everybody. Up the tune, I say. Come on, the tune. Mon the magpies. Yes, if you love Newcastle Club, your hands.
Happy birthday, everybody, and thank you very, very much. Happy birthday to me. Take great care of your dear selves. Stay fabulous. This is Scotty McClue saying dinky doo to every single one of you. Good night, God bless, and ta-ra, See you guys. Sleep well. <laughs>